Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, guys. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 8 recaps and analysis. This video is for the game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cleveland Browns. A game won by the Chiefs by a score of 23-17. to Chiefs run the record to 8-0. and The Browns fall to 3-5. and And, you know, although the Browns lost, I think you saw them play their best game uh, in the last couple ones here simply because Jason Campbell proved to be a lot more competent uh, than Brandon Whedon. And if this game was anything else, it was an indictment on Brandon Whedon because in any game that he hasn't started, Okay, which is now this was the fourth one here. The Browns offense was able to move the ball on this one. Jason Campbell throwing for just under 300 yards. Um, he played particularly well in the second half. They moved the ball pretty well. Just came up a little bit short, losing 23 to 17 again to the Chiefs. And, you know, this was Alex Smith's also his most productive game um, of the season as well in this one. He didn't throw any interceptions as is becoming. Uh, the norm for Smith there in Kansas City. The same remedy to success, but a little more on the offensive side of the ball for Kansas City. Jamal Charles with just about 75 yards rushing and almost 50 yards receiving. Uh, you get a Alex Smith uh, taking a bit more chances in this one, throwing the ball down the field a little bit more, and he needed to because Cleveland's offensive line did a very good job uh, protecting Jason Campbell. They didn't sack Jason Campbell till the fourth quarter. I think you saw Joe Thomas really neutralize uh, Tamba Ali. And uh, as a whole, you know, the Browns, of course, really have no running game. Um, so they're going to need their quarterback to be productive and give Rob Chudzinski credit for making the move to Jason Campbell because he certainly gives them a lot better chance to win than Whedon does. You saw Devon Bess um, fumble a punt. You saw him miss a catch uh, at the end of the game that would have prolonged the game or at least gave the Browns more of a chance here at the end. So it's the Devon Bess certainly not with his best game of the season as his fumbling issues continue. Uh, but as a whole, you know, Cleveland now will return home to play the Ravens. Okay, Kansas City seems like they've been home for the last month. They'll travel on the road next week uh, to play the Buffalo Bills. So, you know, uh, I, you know, you, you see the score, 23-17. Um, you know, I think that's indicative of how close this game was. I mean, if you look at Kansas City, they scored 20 points in the first half. They didn't score any points in the second half until 11 seconds left when they got a Ryan suck up uh, field goal. So again, good good game by the Browns, particularly um, in the second half. They had some plays that shot them in the foot in the end. But again, I think they're headed in the right direction with Campbell because he's able to move the ball. And uh, Brian Whedon's not. Guys, let me know what you thought of this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week. And I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening, and have a great night.